Hey guys, Dirt Flicker here. Starting to get a little cold here in the Northeast. Um, so I'm devoting a little bit more time lately to cleaning and preserving the relics and artifacts, bottles, antique bottles, etc. that I have dug over the course of the year. I wanted to talk today a little bit about cleaning your antique bottles. Um, and specifically methods of cleaning other than tumbling because not everybody can afford a tumbler. Not everybody is as dedicated to the hobby. But um, anyhow, there's a few things on the table here that work for cleaning your antique bottles. Um, and some I favor more than others. Bleach is a awesome, that'll clean anything. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Ammonia is another excellent way of cleaning anything. Um, especially antique bottles. In fact, in, in certain circumstances, it takes off a lot of the cloudiness that is harder to get off. Um, one thing you don't want to do is take this and this and use it together. Okay, Most of you probably know that. If you don't, don't ever do it. It creates a very noxious gas. Um, and combining, you can combine some of these items. I, I, for one, like to put a, you know, 50 part bleach, 50 part water, and then put a scoop of OxyClean in. Always use very warm water. Don't use hot water because these bottles are old and they will crack if you put the water in too hot. Warm water or hot, hotter water, but not scalding hot, um, works. Um, this here is CLR. Um, it works well, it's extremely expensive, and I don't use it unless I really need to, because it's, it's just overpriced in my opinion. This stuff here I get at Dollar Tree, huh, the dollar store, and this works as good, if not better, than that. That costs probably for that little container right there, I don't remember exactly, I think it might, even, might be 10 or 12 dollars just for a little container of that, it's, it's very pricey. This here, you get pretty much the same amount. I think, what is this, uh, 32 fluid ounces. That's uh, uh, 28 fluid ounces. So you get more in this. And it cleans just as well. And this is a dollar. And uh, you can buy, you, know, you can go there, spend five bucks and get a plenty, you know, enough to clean bottles for almost the whole year for some of you. So those are some of the cleaning methods that uh, you know I use other than t tumbling. Uh, tumbling requires a lot of time and patience and I normally only tumble bottles of great value. These are these methods here work for you know your common everyday bottles, you know your you know your $5 flea market bottles that you get at the flea market or whatnot or you dig that are, you know, they're nice looking, you want to keep them, but you don't want to invest a lot of time and money into clean preserving them. And um, also, I want to go over a trick on how to get out that cloudiness that these methods of cleaning here won't take out. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so this trick really only requires some generic baby oil. And before I go ahead and do this, don't ever use this to clear up a bottle that's cloudy like this. You can see it's cloudy here. Let's go look it up up there. You can see how it's kind of cloudy. Okay, we're going to clear that up. But don't ever use this method or this tip to clean up a bottle and then sell it because it's unethical. I, people will do that. They'll clean up bottles using the oil, this oil, clear it up, sell it, and then the, the people that buy it get it. And over time, the oil will wear off and then the cloudiness will come back and they'll be like, what the heck? Okay, it's a good way to get yourself some negative feedback. Um, so just, this is for you, as a tip for you, if you want to display something, don't be cleaning them using this method and then selling them, please. It's, it's just, uh, it's a shitty thing to do. So um, what you do is you take, basically, I've got a little bit of um, baby oil there in this, and you just put some on your finger, and you just rub it over the outside of the bottle. You can see how it immediately clears up. I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera, so hopefully I don't drop this and break it. But you just rub it over. You can you can fill it up in the inside, and I'll do that in a minute. Okay. But this is just with the outside. Now look at the difference. 
Okay, you still got a little clogginess on the inside, but it's it's, it's much clearer. See how much clearer it looks now? Okay. Now over time, this will wear off, but this is the, this is just a way to make your bottles look nice if you don't want that sickness on them, that cloudiness that won't come off by cleaning with any of these things here, any of these um, chemicals here. Um, okay, it looks good. Let me go to the next segment. Okay, so now what we've done is we put a little bit of oil on the inside. We put a little inside there. Okay, so we've already done the outside. And you just swish it around like this. Okay. Try to get it to cover the inside. I have my finger over the... And then when you're done, you know... Um, Cleaning the inside, what you do is you just get a bigger bottle like that and you and you put it right in there like that. And now it's just suspended, so all the oil will just drain out down into that other bigger bottle there. Very simple. And you can or you can see how much clearer that looks now. You see straight through it. Okay, over time that cloudiness will come back. Um, and then what you do is after you you're done draining it out. You just wipe it off with a lightly, just lightly wipe it off with a, um, a hand towel or something. And then you get yourself a clean bottle, at least for quite a while. You put it on your shelf and enjoy it. Okay, so on to the giveaway. Four bottles here. Um, they're small bottles. They're all embossed. There's a Cure bottle right there, a Hall's Qatar Cure. You've got a paint expeller. They're all blown. Blown mold. Um, that's an Abner and Royce from Cleveland, Ohio, and that's a perfume bottle from Paris, and it says Sanital de Midi. I don't know. I don't know French, but I just wanted to thank you guys for, you know, supporting me and what I do on YouTube, off YouTube, on Facebook, etc., and um, so here's my way of giving back. I don't, um, I'm not sponsored by, you know, a metal detector company or by a high level distributor. I'm not giving away metal detectors. I have to buy the equipment I use. So, but I can offer you some of the things I dig throughout the year. And this is just a little way of me giving back to you guys, the, you know, the subscribers, people that watch and support me. So, uh, if you're interested, like I said, these are all antique bottles. I dug them all this year at one dump or another. They're all mold-blown bottles, probably 1890 to 1900. Um, and they'll look good on your shelf. I've cleaned them up, and I've... Um, oh, my phone's going off. Anyway, I've cleaned them up, and um, they're ready for you. So, all you have to do, really, is be a subscriber, number one. That's kind of like the general rule of thumb. Make a comment and say that you want to be entered. I'll sign you with a number. And in a few days, we will revisit this. And I'll make a drawing and one of you guys gets them. Take care.